The question posed is, I think it's a question on, on the Facebook. Asad Saeed, most respect and love to Dr. Zakir from Pakistan. I am a Muslim by birth, but I have never really done dawah. Would I be considered a good Muslim? It's a very good question by Asad Saeed, that he's a Muslim from Pakistan, but he has never done dawah. So would he be considered as a good Muslim? According to Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 4, sorry, verse number 1 to 3, it says, Wal Asr, in al insan fi khusr, that by the token of time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking the oath of time. That man is verily in a state of loss. Man is in khasara. Wal Asr, in al insan fi khusr. That except those who have faith, those who have righteous deed, those who exhort people to truth, and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. This surah, Surah Al-Asr, is called as Rahe Nijat, the path to salvation. And according to Imam Ash-Shafi, he said that if this surah alone was revealed for humanity, it would have been sufficient for the salvation. That means this surah alone would have been sufficient for salvation, for guidance and nothing else. So this surah says that man is verily in a state of loss, except those who have four criteria. Those who have faith, iman, those who amal as salihat, who have righteous deed, whatever sabil haq, inviting people to truth, that is doing dawah and islah. And whatever sabil sabr, inviting people to patience and perseverance. So according to the surah, there are minimum four criteria for any human being to go to Jannah. Number one is Iman, having faith. Number two, Amal al-Salihat, doing righteous deed. Number four, inviting people to truth, that is doing Dawah and Islam. And fourth is inviting people to patience and perseverance. If any one of these criteria under normal circumstances is missing, you shall not enter Jannah. If Allah wants to forgive you and put in Jannah, that's Allah's prerogative. Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 48 and Surah Nisa chapter 4, 116 that if Allah pleases, He may forgive any sin. But the sin of shirk, He'll not forgive. So according to Surah Nisa chapter 4, 48 and Surah Nisa chapter 4, 116 Allah may forgive any sin if He wishes. Except the sin of shirk, He'll not forgive. So under normal circumstances, if you're not doing dawah, it is a requirement to go to Jannah. If you don't do dawah, you are not fulfilling the requirement to go to Jannah. It's a fard. If Allah wants to forgive you different but normal circumstances, you may be a very good Muslim, you may be praying five times a day, you may be fasting in the month of Ramadan, you may be giving zakat, you may have gone for hajj. But if you do not do dawah, according to Surah Al-Asad, you shall not go to Jannah. So that means dawa is very important. You ask me the question, if I don't do dawa, can I be considered a good Muslim? You cannot be com considered as a complete Muslim or a good Muslim or a good practicing Muslim. For you to be a good practicing Muslim, you should do dawa at least part time. There's another verse in Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse number 104, which says, Let there arise out of you a band of people that enjoin people to the good and forbid them from doing wrong. This verse of the Quran is talking about full time da'is. How we are full time doctors, full time engineers, full time lawyers. How many full time da'is do you have? You can count them on your fingertip. How many people do you have full time da'is? Means who are on the stage or in their life, the major time of the day is going and inviting people, talking to the non Muslims. How many do we have? You can count them on your fingertips. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Fusila chapter 41 verse number 33, the ayah I started this program with, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَالَ مِمَّنْ دَوَيْلَ اللَّهِ وَأَمِلُ صَالِحُمْ وَقَالَ إِنَّنِ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Who is better in speech than one who invites to the way of thy Lord, works righteousness and says that I am a Muslim. This verse of the Quran says that the best profession of a Muslim the best profession for a Muslim is of a die. What are the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was a Muslim. He was a die. His main work 
was to convey the message of Islam to the others. So the best profession for a Muslim is the da'i. So being full-time da'i is the best profession. Being part-time da'i is minimum that's required. So da'wah is fard for every Muslim. And I request all the Muslims and brothers and sisters that whatever possible, however many non-Muslim friends you have, whether Christian, whether Hindu, see to it that you convey the message of Islam. And however many Muslims you have, if you find that something is lacking, you do Islam with them. When we speak to Muslims, giving them more information about Islam, it's called as Islam. When we call the non-Muslims towards Islam, that's called as Dawah. So it's the best that the Muslims should do Dawah and Islam both so that they can enter Jannah. Hope that answers the question.